welcome back everyone today i have another video this time is for uh red purple law uh as, uh, i'm gonna be doing a video on each of the study deck leaders that are coming up like in, i think in a week or two weeks so i wanted to explore them right now and um make a video and it, when, when you get the decks at least would you have something that you can play immediately uh this deck is gonna get much better in op5 so it's not completely co like like a full power uh but at least it's an option that you have to play at the moment uh i'm playing it this way um multiple reasons uh, i think the best cards on this deck are definitely round table and um like beppo is also very important law is very important early on especially against aggressive decks uh something like against like um uh zoro or um even uh tropical law i mean not tropical law but like um the other law uh, is very good and uh, this is just removes anything on the on the game and also you get to play some uh, some other four drop uh, to back it up so it's really good uh, i think beppo is really important because it just keeps ramping you every turn and it's the most important card in the deck as as of right now that i think of um because it just gives you that residual value every turn and this is the card that you actually want to see the most uh, alongside with your like round table um in a specific matchups of course and then uh, everything else is just to complement that. You have a lot of minus in effects. You know, Tama, Gordon, you have um, Round Table, you have Law. So you can minus the opponent's cards um, and also just remove them very easily. Um, also, you have um, a lot of like four cost cards that, that are good, like this Law. The new Law that we get to play is a blocker. And if they have seven or more cards in hand, uh, they have to discard two cards randomly. This this card is just insane. Um, every time that I get to practice, it just feels really good, and um, it's definitely one of the the reasons to to, uh, to to play purple at the moment. Um, I I'm not entirely sure about the Dan. I mean, uh, I don't have too many targets. I'm only playing two, but like it probably should be just like zero. I just play like three boogies and then add more like four Ks because I was having some trouble finding out more like cards that i can play from my hand um maybe it could be like brook but brook is kind of like not that amazing i think law is much better than brook the four cost brook that um minus two 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 targets i mean it's decent in this deck of course don't get me wrong uh but law is just more like on play is much better than uh on attack on this leader um and it really shows it really makes a difference here um gordon of course is one of your mvps that also when i'm playing the dance so you can search gordon like an extra way to search Gordon. So like it, it feels like a really combo heavy deck where if you see all your pieces, you're going to be very good. Uh, but if the opponents are playing good against you, sometimes they don't even have to attack you. And then you have to find all these pieces like super quickly. Um, and if they get to establish a board, then it's really bad for you. So the idea is that you, you have a, a huge board and the opponent doesn't have any board. Uh, and that's how you win with this deck usually. Uh, but it's, it's, it's easier said than done. Like you have to draw decently well with it. Only at least until we get like into the next set where we get like extra support that um, and the OP five, where you get more uh, options for the deck. Of course, of course, it's much better. Uh, I'm playing Queen as a draw engine and Khalifa. Uh, I like them because uh, the deck does suffer a lot of from, from hand side problems. Uh, you don't see too many cards, and then you have to play like two cards per turn. Uh, so you get you deplenish your resources very quickly. Uh, so cards like Queen and Khalifa do help a little bit with that. Um, the deck was oh, okay. I was playing against uh, Jadam from the, from YouTube. Uh, so I'll link leave a link if you want to go see him, um, uh, his videos and everything. But I it, it was a really um, it, it was a really good opponent. So we have some really good matchups to show today. And uh, yeah, let's go see them. Okay, and we're gonna play against Rebecca. Uh, we chose to go first, and uh, he didn't play a blocker, so we're gonna attack for everything. Uh, either asking for two cards, or he won't be able to use the leader ability. And then we can also play the law to discard cards from the hand, so that's it's gonna be good for us. Uh, whatever happens, he is. We can play double card here with the uh, with the law and the Beppo, so we have a good hand. Uh, to do everything he played the uh, or Lumbus, which is best case scenario for us because we can play the law um, remove this guy uh, Play the Beppo a ramp and it's still attack for six, right? now I could have uh, Do this after attacking because I don't really get any other value out of this. So again 
sequencing uh, has been uh, an issue for me when I played the sim. Uh, I played it differently when I played online, but uh, it, we were talking, we were uh, doing other, th other things, and uh, sometimes I do get uh, on my head about the sequencing. And um, hopefully I don't mess up the... Because <laughs> um, in the sim, I had a lot of troubles, again, with this leader and being able to bottom deck the cards, because uh, using the leader ability requires a, a certain order. So one, two, three, choose Sabo, okay. Play this guy, use ability, uh, make him discard two, and then attack with Sabo, get the two cards. So this is the best play that I could have done here. Uh, now, I do get a little bit punished, a little bit here if he has a, a Luffy. Oh, but he doesn't have the field spell. So, I mean, even if he does have a Luffy, he won't be able to attack me with it. And uh, that's really good. I'm going to attack for 5-5-5 five, because five, five, I don't need to do anything else. Um, ideally, my Beppo doesn't die. Uh, that would be ideal for me. Uh, but we are running super clean right now. We've been able to remove every card that they play. And the nice thing about this leader is he gets around the removal effect for like the um, the sub ability. So um, we are in a really decent spot. And he plays the Luffy but does, didn't have rush so he couldn't do anything. And he's putting it out there to see if he gets removed. Because if I have some sort of removal for it, uh, then I just automatically win the game. Uh, but I don't have it so... We're just going to attack for 7, and then 5-5-5. Uh, five, five, five. I should have attacked for 5-5-5, five, 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 probably. Much better. Or for 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. No, yeah, just 5-5-5 five, five, five early, of course. Wouldn't be much better. Uh, no expose or, or, or Beppo to removal. Uh, again, I, I was a little bit um, not focused, uh, because I was. Um, we were talking, we were doing other stuff. Um, but uh, it's not an excuse for uh, the miss sequencing that I have here uh, on a couple of the games here now this Luffy is going to be able to attack remove two of my cards for sure uh, but we, he's a two two cards on live and, and two and three cards on, on hand so that's very good for me uh, he attacks for only seven uh, I don't know what he's I mean I'm thinking he probably has another one and then he has the Coliseum now uh, that would be like the most punishing play if I do defend the Beppo here um, I could also just let him have it, uh, at least the first Beppo, and then see what he does on the second one. I think that's what I'm reading here. If he's attacking for seven, it's because he has another uh, Luffy. That's the only thing that will make sense. Uh, but I, I, I'm putting him in, okay, you better have it, and see. let's see what you do. Also, the one thing to, uh, to note is that, uh, okay, so he did have that play exactly. Uh, but I don't think he has enough cards on Grave to... Yeah, he does have enough to restand both. Uh, but I think I'm going to be able to... To combo out of one of them. Like, leave one of them to be alive. Um, and I just need another attacker so I can put him to zero. And then from there, we'll see. Uh, he has two cards in hand, so I put him to zero, and then he has to kill me. Uh, not that easy. Uh, and I can remove pretty much any blocker that he plays. So I don't think Rebecca is also a, a good matchup, by the way. Because uh, they can just get to remove my things. They don't give me any cards, and it's really terrible for me. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to attack his uh, Luffy's, because they don't get to restand. I don't think he has enough cards to restand them, even uh, one of them next turn, so... He will be using them as blockers at this point. So that will be a very bad play for me if I attack them. So I just put him here. Uh, he better play two blockers. Because uh, if not, he's going to just definitely just uh, die here. Um, he's going to do Trueno. On my law. I don't know what happened. Oh, no, no. He, he was resolving gone here. Which is actually very good. Because now that gives him enough cards to attack me. And, uh, well... That's that's bad for me. If he if he does like Luffy ability, attack my guy, and then place two blockers, uh, I could be in a really bad spot. But he doesn't do that. He only plays one blocker, which means I do have the uh, the round table attack for game and hope that that's enough. Um, again, uh, this matchup seems to be really bad for uh, for Law, uh, but still um, we are gonna. Uh, we, we were able to, we managed to win this one. Uh, again, that's that's when like the high roll of the deck comes into play because uh, I did have a really good hand uh, that allowed me to do all these crazy plays. 
and he had enough 11 to survive that one. So he has to go for game this turn. It's not that easy though. Um, so he still gets another chance here, but I don't think he has a gun because he used the one that he uh, got from life. Uh, he needs to play a blocker or try to go for game on these three cards. Uh, so the only way that he wins is if he has a gun. Uh, he reveals the top card. It is a uh, Gaiat, so that's a 2k Connor. Um, on, he needs blockers now at this point, but I do, I do have the Otama. I do have the Otama for like a small blocker. Um, another Sabo would be bad, but yeah, okay. So he concedes because he doesn't have a blocker and he doesn't have uh, a gun because gun is the only card that, ca that can kill me here. Because Or he could attack double attack with the Luffy's. Um, there might be a number where you can actually try to go for game. But he didn't have enough cards in Graveyard, he told me, uh, to uh, to do double Luffy ability. So, um, yeah, I mean, he was only able to restand one of the Luffy's. And that would, he wouldn't have enough to go for game. He could have attacked for like seven on Rebecca. If, if he had enough cards on, uh, on Graveyard, uh, he could have attacked for seven on Rebecca. I have to take that one. Then attacks for... Yeah, he has to attack for seven. If he's about a combo the Rebecca, he can no longer win. Um, and then uh, attack for seven on Rebecca. That'll be three. And then two. And then you attack eight, nine, nine, nine with the Luffy's. And hope that that's enough to win. Um, and that the life doesn't contain like uh, 10k worth of uh, combo power. Uh, but if I combo out of the Rebecca, that is over. So I just needed like a two and a one in that case. If he did have enough, so we will never know because he didn't draw anything to just be able to go for game. Uh, but yeah, it is how, how it works in this matchup. All right, and we're going to play against Queen. And uh, this matchup is, uh, I don't know, it feels like uh, if they have a lot of removal early on, then I'm not going to be able to uh, like do it like very well. But I mean, there's nothing that I can do. Uh, we, we talked about this be, uh, after the game, but I think you don't attack Queen uh, because that's just very uh, in, inefficient. Because you wanna like you don't want to give them any resources because uh, you don't need to win the early game on this matchup. Uh, you just wanna like go to play nine drop, nine drop, nine drop, and that's how you win this matchup for sure. So um, he's looking at the top five, probably looking for a removal spell, um, which is really bad for me. But at least I get to play two cards right now this turn. Um, which is going to be really good for me. Uh, and I get to play a Beppo, so I get to um, recover some of that hand size. Uh, and again, trying to play to play correctly because uh, I've been burned by this uh, ability uh, a lot of times. So, yeah, it's, it's good to have a, a little bit of uh, legacy there. And I think I could have played uh, the um, the brothers here. Uh, I don't know the name. The, the, these two, the, the 2K, rather than the Beppo because I, I should have realized that he probably has removal for my uh, my Beppo, and then I would have one more energy right now, and that would be meaningful for me. Uh, and right now I just play the Beppo. It would have been e equally as good at this point. But um, yeah, I mean, little things that I I could have like foreseen, uh, but hand size is 20-20, of course. Uh, also, I didn't attack with Law because um, I don't want to attack the turn that he has energy open, and like you can see, like, uh, he can play like one or two, maybe two blockers, but I don't know if he's going to do that. So he will spend all his turn and he hasn't been attacking my leader. So uh, he's not going to give me any resources. And he can spend all, all like his whole turn um, just trying to remove my law. And then it removes pressure from him and I just attack him for 5k. It's just not worth it. Instead, next turn, he's going to he's gonna be playing like, um, like an 8-drop or a 9-drop or whatever the case might be. And then uh, I can just uh, destroy whatever he plays uh, in that case, right? I mean, I, then he's going to attack me for five. So it's much easier to defend those attacks. So now it is worth to attack with the, this way, right? And uh, he takes the first damage on his uh, red rock. So there is not much I can do about that. So he's removing my pressure out of life. So it is like it's out of our control at this point, right? Now, I, I couldn't do a minus ability here. Uh, but I will play um, the um, this guy so I can keep going. Like I can keep like developing. I'm trying to bait him into using the uh, the blocker here, and uh, I, I 
I could have maybe waited until he had like that so I can play the uh, the guy. I maybe was a little bit impatient here. Um, and yeah, he, he would have taken it, he would have played that one, and I would have been able to use the leader ability. And I would be in a much better spot, but not by much. Still a, a very difficult spot for me here. Um, because Yamato is going to heal him and uh, recover like a lot of ground. And I think I have to block this one because uh, I need attackers. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm lacking right now. And um, you see here, having that extra energy would have been allowed me to play like two more guys this turn. And I probably would have been in a much better spot than I am right now. Uh, if I that turn one play, uh, I would have done it better. I like if I would have foreshot the removal, foreshot the removal, uh, I probably would have done it better, and uh, I would have had a much better matchup. And I should have attacked with Law first here, just in case he has any removal. Uh, which uh, okay, he didn't he didn't have the removal, but at least uh, it would have been a much better, a cleaner play for me. Uh, and I should attack with everything before uh, taking the day, uh, at, like playing my, my guys because he's gonna bottom deck them, and then it's gonna be really bad for me, of course. Uh, let's see if he has more 5Ks. He doesn't have 5Ks, which is good. Uh, and I attack with Makino again with this guy first. Try to force the block or the removal. And if he has another Yamato, actually, it's kind of like game over. There's nothing I can do there. Um, and he should know this trigger, and he's going to use it on my boogie. And, I mean, that's uh, <laughs> that's just like two triggers out of life. It's, it's very difficult to win that way. And at least he's kind of out of the resources, but another Yamato is going to heal him twice. And I don't think I can recover from that. That is just too much card advantage for no reason, like no value that he has to uh, output there. Uh, he gets to attack everything in my board. That round table draw was good, uh, but I don't know if it's good enough to win the game. Because um, he knows the top of his deck, and if he has another one, another 8-drop, he just probably just wins. Um... But we're going to hope that he doesn't, right? Because we don't have any other play. And again, I should have attacked before uh, using my leader ability. Just in case he knew. Although at this point, he shouldn't know the card on top of the deck. And if he gets like... Tri another trigger would be like... Uh, I mean, out of my control. Uh, but at least I wouldn't have been able... I, I wouldn't got it for free, of course. Um, so it was very... Um, there were a lot of triggers on life. And um, sometimes you cannot control that. And here I just lose the game. Um, I don't think I can do anything else here. Uh, a couple of things that I could have done better in sequencing uh, could have helped me uh, in this matchup. Uh, but like, if if there's so much removal early on this day and he doesn't attack me, I just don't have any resources to uh, combat this. Um, it is how this matchup goes and nothing else that you can really do. He can just take his time here, just play a, a card per turn, heal, attack, attack. Um, it's just nothing that I can really do here. Uh, if I draw another four drop, maybe uh, I could do something. Um, but it's just not. I don't even think a, a four drop is gonna help me here. Uh, I can do like um, round table here is my only chance. Like if I do round table, leader ability attack the Mihawk, and hopefully he doesn't have a two k. Uh, then we go from there, and maybe we have something going on. Uh, I'm gonna play the Otama for free, and then pff, hope. Uh, but then now at this point, I only have one life. There's just nothing that I can really do. And then play the Tama, reduce the cost on this one, and just try to attack. Uh, but I just nothing really that I can could really do here. Uh, he has had too much removal for my thing, and that, that's it. That just loses me the game here. Um, yeah, um, I think I, if he doesn't attack me turn one, I, I, he would have a much better turn two. So, the the being able to stack the triggers and draw the removal early on is something that I cannot play around, and it's gonna always gonna get me here. Um, I don't know if uh, I would have still been able to to win this matchup, but a little bit of sequencing better would have been better uh, to. I would have been in a much better spot that maybe allows me to win the game, um, but we we wouldn't know here. Okay, and we're gonna go against uh, Luffy. Uh, and again, we're just testing out that deck too as well. So the first thing that I want to see is that this hand is actually pretty decent. Um, it has 
uh, Bevel, which is our uh, main card that we want to play uh, out of the leader, I think. Is the most important one because it allows to keep ramping every turn and then uh we whipped that other than but we, we already know that's likely to happen uh in a turn or two uh now we could destroy the chopper and we might do it um we could also just attack but yeah let's just play the dan search something yeah exactly and uh, we're gonna attack with law for a good number and yeah, we don't have to use the Beppo right now, but we're not applying the much pressure that we want. Uh, we're going to combo to this one because I don't know who is going to... Okay, so he's going to play Queen. Didn't use the ability, so that allows us to uh, destroy that one. And maybe attack with like Adadan or attack with a big number with, the, with Law here. Now, I will attack with Law first see what he does uh because if i don't have to use my uh my leader ability the better but if he forces me to do it then uh i will do it of course uh but if he blocks with law uh, i'm i i will not like i don't want to use my leader ability too early and again that this is one of the things that i had the most trouble with this leader uh definitely just being able to um uh, to sequence the uh, the the simulator, uh, I I like I clicked on the like you have to follow a certain order. You uh, do the minus ability, you the uh, you click the queen, and then you click the card that you want to summon. But if you like if you click on the card that you want to summon before the other one, you're gonna lose it. So it is it is completely scuffed at, at this moment. Uh, but it's fine. I think I can still do it. Uh, although my opponent really has a. Um, like an advantage right now over me but at least i'm gonna be able to poke for six six uh here and that's meaningful definitely very very meaningful because we're able to like secret bend the uh the seven drop <clears throat> a little bit by attacking twice here although the queen shouldn't be on the board at all but it is what it is right now we're at two life uh it could be a little bit risky if he puts me to zero but i have a lot of counter power uh, as well uh, but it seems like that's going to be the play. You're just going to try to put him to zero. Ignore my board. And then just like not play anything into my removal. Which could be considered to be okay. Like that's a, that's a decent play. Um, right now I'm just going to do the Gordon here. Because I want to remove the Nami more than anything. Uh, but I want to poke as well. So let's see if he wants to give me something for uh, to defend this queen. Which I don't, I don't think he's going to do it. So, um, probably just, yeah, just gonna let it die. And then I just have to attack. I, I just have to poke, poke. And that's the nice thing about this leader. This leader wants to just, like, poke with everything. And then keep the opponent's board clear. Um, now, again, I have to be careful because the order uh, matters. Uh, I play Boogie to try to find another extra card. I just couldn't. Uh, but the order of uh, the sequencing, sequencing matters in this leader because I have to have less... Uh, done than my opponent to use the Beppo ability so I have to do it in like a different way of course um, I play this three remove the Nami and then play the blocker law and then I'm able to keep going uh, I'm gonna attack with the Beppo of course see if he wants to come out of that one and I don't care if he does uh, I, I just need to poke as many times as possible and it happens to be this time the, the, the twice on this one uh, but that's what I was saying, the Beppo is the best one out of them, because it keeps ramping you, and you can keep using the leader ability, like, continuously. Um, now he plays the 10-drop Luffy, which is very annoying, because then I, if if I don't block it, if I block it, then I, he gets to destroy my board. Uh, but at least I do have enough counter power here to be able to stop it. And if he, and I have, I'm able to stop that one, I'm able to combo out of the leader, because the, the nice thing about that Luffy is that it doesn't care about the um like how many um how many like who who blocks what like as long as someone blocked that that turn he's gonna be able to destroy my cards so I think he was counting on that uh to win the game um I just had enough counter power right here to just out combo that that turn um and I'm just able to uh, poke poke I, I actually have more attackers than he has like cards in hand so I can just if I want to I can just poke for five five five. And then just attack for game. Uh, like there's nothing else that he can do here to uh, to win that game. So um, again, 
if you draw your your cards to to have like a complete control over the board, and I think this probably is a good matchup for this leader. Uh, you're gonna have a, a a good a good time with uh, with law. Like if you're able to just remove the the threat that they're playing every turn, and then you like play the the things that you need to play, especially if you have uh, Bevel, uh, it's gonna be really good for you for sure. Okay, we're gonna play against this leader. Um, should be fine. Get another one drop. I like it. Uh, we're gonna probably play him and attack with the leader for a big number. Um, is he gonna play anything? Okay, I'll take it because I need a, like a 4K. I don't have any 4Ks. What the heck? Um, okay, well, just attack for a big number here. Well, a big number, quote unquote. And then just trying to get some value here. Oh, God. <laughs> I needed all of those cards. Uh, I guess I'll get a Radical Beam. Let him go. And now we can attack with Makino, at least. Uh, yeah, I need a 4-drop. <laughs> Where are they? That helps. Um. Okay, okay, okay. So how do we do this? Uh, we could play Otama. Okay, I think I get it. Hold on. No. We could play... We're gonna try to kill this one. That's a minus three. We don't even have Gordon. Hmm? Let's play queen and see what I get. Okay, we get this guy. I don't need this guy. I think I'm okay here with attacking just for six. Uh, next turn I can do more plays, but this turn I, I can just attack for six. Uh, we're playing in the OP3 thing. Uh, we have the round table for uh, whatever he has. Okay, this is fine. I don't care about Zoro. We have a lot of 2Ks, so we don't really care about this. Uh, let's do the Makino, I guess. Uh, let's do the Makino. No, let's do one Otama. He has six cards in hand. Okay, so now we're good. Now we have the cards that we need. So we're going to play this one for this and this. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, for that one. Then we're going to attack with this one here. See if he wants to give us some cards. He does. Okay. Uh, so you want to give us more cards? Let's see. Okay, okay. He does, eh? Well, now we kill this thing. Deploy. Use the leader ability. Return a three. So we go one, two, three. Return this guy. Let's play Beppo. Because he will ramp us back up a little bit. And then let's just let him go. Because, I mean, I can attack this next turn. And we ate a lot of cards from his hand for free. So we're good. Next turn we get to attack it a lot as well. Uh, let's just combo this guy. We don't really mind. Uh, we have an answer for the white beer. Although he's probably going to chain uh, white beer after white beer after white beer. Uh, we'll do this one, of course. Okay, we'll attack here. That will give us a little bit of ramp. Uh, okay, this is the freest matchup then. Because the opponent is comboing out of these attacks. Yeah, like, <laughs> why would you? Now I do a round table here. And I guess I'll play my guy. One, two, three. 
remove this guy play this guy and then he's at nine so I have to attack with everything make him take a life here uh, now we block with the law if he has another white beer could be a lot oh he doesn't have another white beer well, that is interesting, but I do combo to this one because this one just keeps getting me value. And oh, we have the answer for the white beer now, so we don't even have to worry about this. Uh, we start attacking for fives, so we can get value out of all of our cards. He's gonna have to block with this eventually. Actually, this turn has to block because I have a lot of attackers. And then attack with this one. Let him go. He has a blocker now, but he needs a white beer. And I have the answer for the white beer. So it doesn't really matter. Ooh, okay. So he might try to go for game. Which, of course, we do have an answer for. And I think we bait him into it, right? Use this trigger to make the leader a little bit higher. Because I have enough, like, I have the counter that I need here. Attack for 8, and then this one is going to attack for uh, 1, 2, uh, sorry, 9. That's easy. I go guard point, and then this one, discarding that one, and that should be enough to win the game. Um... I think him defending the Zoro was a terrible misplay. Um, but we did have the answer for like back to back white beer in case that, that happened. Um, we didn't know we had the answer, but we did. I guess is what it comes down to. Uh, but it's still, um, it was a decent, really matchup for. Uh, I mean, th that's what the deck does. If he draws very well, he can do all of these things, right? All right, for final thoughts, um, I think um, I, I was missing a, a couple of things uh, here and there. Um, it really definitely gets much better after uh, the release of the new set because you get the three drop law. You get you get a lot of odd things that you get to play for free and you get to refill your hand without having to play cards like Queen. Uh, so that's uh, really something like, I guess it gets residual value, which is what the, the deck really wants. And uh, some more ramping cards, uh, I think, would be really amazing too. Uh, but you also get the blocker, the, the one that just allows you to reclaim one energy for free. Uh, and that's just very good. There's are little things that add up to make the deck much better, of course. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.